Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Colombia, South America. Our first question from Colombia, it's from Sebastian. Brock, a few weeks ago, you talked about PHPAs and the depletion. Uh, in coring, we either use water and bentonite or water and PHPA, but they never seem to work well together. When I use bentonite and the PHPA, it seems like I'm just defeating the purpose. It's an excellent question, and um, I've done some wireline coring all over Latin America and in Colombia, and um, the difference between conventional industrial drilling of uh, mud rotary or air or making a big borehole is we can choose the size of our annulus, but then we get into coring, we have a much smaller annulus, we got the core barrel, you know, we have mud rings, we have all kinds of things happening. So the the traditional thought is i'm going to run a light bentonite system with some pack you know and uh, you know formations that have porosity and if i'm going to be in clays and shales i'm running water and i'm just running straight you know some sort of clay inhibition phpa but we can we can in any drilling application run water bentonite and phpa it's all about that foundation and that mix that we create and getting to spend all the years I did with Bayroid. I, I have good roots in this, but all good mud companies and engineers will start with the same thing. And that's our, our water has to be properly treated and that's knocking out the hardness and it's uh, bumping up the pH or not. Yeah. Bumping up the pH for our PHPA to perform. But I think our problem comes into mixing you know so if we if we got our water right and we mix thoroughly and we have good yielded out bentonite we can get our phpa into the system in the quantities we want and it works great light bentonite systems with a good phpa will inhibit will uh maintain borehole stabilities and everything even in that small annulus really it comes to the unyielded bentonites and you know center fusing out making those mud rings um we have a hard time rebuilding those systems anytime we put phpa in it and you know when i talked about robert and the depletion that was one thing but our active mud system cannot be our active mix system because we're putting unyielded material in there we're not letting it yield out and uh if we if we have a good phpa concentration in there the bentonite doesn't want to yield it's it's clay i know i just uh, i just pulled the curtain back and said sodium bentonite is just a fancy clay but it is it's a really good clay and it's so wyoming sodium bentonite is the best in the world however phpas don't care they're going to grab whatever they can so it really comes down to how we mix and build the system and then how we rebuild the system and that's where we're going to end up with that secondary mix tank and in wireline coring i've always seen that we've had a good secondary mix tank now how we mix if it's uh, a venturi and a hopper or it's uh you know a teeson mixer or whatever that's where it really comes down to how we get that stuff stirred up and we get it mixed into the system but we can run any of these systems with you know multiple products it's really about our order of addiction and mixing and that's really what uh good mud engineers are going to talk to you about and how we do it so you know we got to make sure our water's right because all of these fluids are really 98 percent water and then it comes down to our order of addition which is always bentonite letting it mix and yield out nicely and then being able to add uh we would use our our packs or our polyantiotic celluloses next and then we would add a phpa and then whatever we're going to do and i just got into the basics of a, a mud school there but for what you're talking about yes we can run a good light bentonite system and then we can start adding PHPAs. And why I say light bentonite is because, again, we don't want to stick clay on top of clay and just start making a balling mess. You need enough to stabilize the hole, clean and sweep the hole. It's a great question, Sebastian. Let's get some more questions from around the world here. It's fun. We're a great community. And that's what we need. Thanks. Everybody have a great week.